Welcome to my YouTube channel. Open a new file then select part. In the fitter manager, select front plane, then select revolved boss located at the fitter toolbar. Create profiles using line and spline options. Spline can be stretched out according to the design you want. On the sketch toolbar, select smart dimension. Set cup height at 95 millimeters. Then set the radius of the bottom cup with 23 millimeters. And the radius of the upper surface at 43 millimeters. Click spline. Then two arrows will appear at each end of the line. Drag the arrow by clicking the point on the arrow. Hold on. Then move the cursor according to the design you want. When finished, click Exit Sketch located on the top right of the screen. Under the Revolve parameter, in the axis of revolution, select the vertical sketch line that is in the origin position. Now, we use the Shell command. Click the top surface of the cup. Set thickness at 0.35 mm. Then at the bottom, select Multi-Thickness and set thickness to 9 mm. You will see a difference in thickness between the wall and the bottom of the cup. We will create a logo area at the bottom of the cup. Use the cut extrude command to cut the bottom. In the manager feature, select cut extrude. Then make a sketch in the bottom surface area of the cup. You can offset the edge of the cup. Enter the offset dimensions. Enter the depth of the cut. Set draft angle at 45 degree. Then click OK. Now, we use the fillet command to create a radius at each edge of the cup. Set all cup edges with a radius to give an elegant impression, smooth and not sharp when held. Now, we will make a cup handle. The command used is Sweat Boss. There are two sketches that we must prepare first. Profile and Path. First we make the path. Create a path on the front plane. Consists of lines, arcs, and splines. Set dimension. Then exit sketch. The second step we create a profile. Click plane in the features manager, then click line as the first reference. And click the point at the end of the path line. Click OK or right click. Now we have a new plane. Create a sketch circle profile on the new plane. Place the center of the circle at the origin. Set the diameter to 10 millimeters. In the features manager, click swept boss. Select the profile and path that has been created. Expand options. Uncheck merger result. Click OK. Now, you have two separate bodies. Cups and handles. Use the split command to cut off the end of the protruding handle into the cup. Use split in the features manager. Click the outer surface of the cup as the cutter. Then click cut body. Select the cut edge of the handle to remove. Make sure the consumed cut bodies are checked. Add the fillet command to create a radius of the cup handles that combine on the wall of the cup. As the end of this tutorial, we introduce the rendering command to see the appearance of the cup that has been made after being replaced with glass.
Thank you for watching this video tutorial. See you in the next video. Please click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. See you.